We're gonna talk about this shit right now, alright? Let's go ahead and watch this trailer first. Go ahead and watch this trailer. Maximize the volume. Feet. That's the first thing, obviously. So, she's got something that goes underneath projectiles and the DP. Alright. She has a stance, as you can see. Alright, that's invincible because she literally blew through the parry. Stance change. Mm -hmm. That was her SBA just now. And she looks to have like some command hop of some kind. Alright, flare, some flare shit, some fancy shine shit, you know. Okay, that's 2 0. Looked okay. Okay, DP. And then that's it. I guess that's the end of the trailer. I'm getting phone calls, of course. So, yeah, I mean, she's looking alright. She's looking alright. We haven't gotten a chance to really try her, but we're going to try her now in this stream. But I think that's sick. And of course, that's her, uh, that's her girlfriend in the back. But then what's this? Oh man, I don't even know any of these symbols because I'm, I'm, I'm dumb dumb. I'm dumb dumb. Apparently I got told this is an eternal. Oh man. Who is this small man? This King Arthur looking motherfucker from Ghost and Goblin. And then he's, of course, got the Pringles. The Pringles mustache. This this is such a cornball-ass character they decide to fucking reveal. Pringles-ass, Frieza voice acting, having character. I think we gotta go over some of her moves and shit. She looks to be like a stance character. The other thing, too, is that they announced this low-popularity-having-ass character called Uno. Uh... Flipping out fucking staffs and having armor through, like, projectiles and other bullshit. Uh, he is gonna be, like, a zoning character, I think. A defensive zoning character, like a wall. Um, which might fit my playstyle, surprisingly enough. So this cornball-ass character is probably going to be somebody that I might actually play just because he fits my playstyle. And I might, I, I just, I'm sorry, I can't get over how he looks. He looks like, 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 bro, like, he's, he's literally lightly salted, uh, he's lightly salted, uh, <laughs> Pringles. It's crazy. Apparently, and shout outs to Grand Blue N for the translations, but she's gonna have these four abilities. This first one, she, she has like this move. That where she dashes forward and then strikes you with like a stinger. You know, the young DMC3. Yeah! You know, if she does the EX version or the heavy version, it wall balances, right? And then you can press you, the U button, the unique action, which is every everyone has a 5 U, a unique action, where it'll essentially allow her to switch into that stance you saw earlier. So, this is gonna be really cool because she's gonna cause a wall bounce. Or she could cause like a regular attack and then switch to the stance for Oki, right? Which we'll talk about as we get into the rest of the stuff, right? She has another ability, which is basically a reversal of DP. I think this DP might hit behind her because she's literally like spinning around and shit. So it could hit behind her head. EX version, of course, is going to have uh, the ability to blow up people air blocking. Uh, so it'll act as an actual anti-air that you can do. Uh, the other two can be used as anti-airs, but they are air blockable. She has another ability here that's going to give her invulnerability before she uh, dashes forward and attacks. This is going to be a move, like, like you saw in the trailer earlier, where she backsteps. Similar to like Slayer from Guilty Gear or Colleen from Street Fighter V, where they have a unique command dash that actually is like a back dash. And it allows them to make multiple options out of it. As you can see here, she does the back hop here. 
where she'll probably be invincible for the back step and then when she rushes forward she has a few options she can do after this back dash so here you see that she goes underneath the projectile before hitting Gran and it's a low hitting attack so this might be good for dealing with projectiles and for adding a, a layer on a offense but it's gonna be akin to like Slayer's dandy stuff I think or Colleen's uh, vanity stuff next one here is the unique action which is the actual stance itself She's a dancer, so you know, she's literally dancing around and stuff. Basically, she's gonna have this little stance here that she's gonna do, and she's able to perform attacks out of this stance. It's not like, I don't think it's like Narmaya, where she's gonna be doing a stance, like she just does a neutral stance, but it like doesn't do anything. It's gonna be a stance where she has four different follow-ups. So she still has all of her main normals, nothing has changed. Her specials don't really change. What happens is she has an active stance she stays in, where she can choose to do nothing, and then three other options. So, the first one here, she has a stance dash, where she can basically dash forward, or she can back dash. And her dash forward is like a run. Like, most characters run forward to you, but what she's going to have is she's going to just have a regular, like, dash up. So it's not like KOF where they're running towards you, it's like Street Fighter where they do a, a simple dash forward. And she'll probably have a change to her back dash as well, as noted here. The B version of the follow-up from the stance that you do with 5U, she'll be doing an attack that kind of like rushes forward, you know. She can't use her normal moves, uh, she's just going to have a new set of attacks that she could do. One of them is going to be obviously the stance attack as you see here. Um, so she has that, then she's going to have an advancing attack, as you can see here, where she literally, you know, rushes forward and hits you, and then if you hold down the H button, it travels even further, and then she's going to have this last attack, which you saw in the trailer here, the Moonrise, actually there's two more, I think, there's two more, this Moonrise is, was used in like the counter hit extensions, like the anti-air counter hit extensions to juggle and continue a combo, Moonrise right there. She anti airs and does it, goes into the move, and then she, she goes back to her regular normal. So it's not like she's using like a stance or anything like that in terms of like what Narmaya does, where it changes her entire entire normals. Instead, what's happening is she's literally like, and she's literally extending the combo by going to a stance which has these special moves locked behind it. The actual last one is this invincible move that she does called Eye of Sparrow, where she can it's literally invulnerable. It has invincibility. And she can, it's like a counter to any high attack. So like, if the opponent presses a high attack, it automatically goes off. So that means a move that you can block standing or crouching. So this might not blow up when someone does a universal overhead or a low on you. So, and then of course it breaks down the Skybound art and Super Skybound art, which we'll probably get more into when we test it out when we're able to play her. But yeah, uh... My first impressions before even touching the character is I think she's going to be uh, a rushdown character. She's going to be rushdown for sure. I think she's going to be rushdown. Uh, and her stances are going to allow her to play set play for Oki. The stance is going to allow her to go into these options. Same with the dandy stuff. It's going to allow her to backdash and then go with a, another option when they wake when they have to wake up. Usually after a hard KD enders because remember that only EX moves and sweeps cause hard knockdowns and throws. So I'd like to see how that works. The next thing I want to talk about are these patch notes. These patch notes, yo, I want to say something right now. I want to say something right now to the young Grand Blue community. Y'all shat on Tempest NYC for saying, Ow, the line was broken! Which I admit is a hot take, but he said, and he said multiple times, Japan is saying that the character is OD, we need to do something about him, and we might need to have a patch for him. Everybody's like, no, no, Belial's fine just as is. And you know what happened? They were like, yeah, nah, Belial's OD, we gotta do something about him. So they made an emergency patch note when UL drop. We're just gonna cover these a little bit, I'm not gonna go too much in depth, but basically, Grand, they changed him to where like, the hurt box on his arms and legs while standing is made smaller. It's just an adjustment change for quality of life. His power raise, the 5U, where he charges it, uh, it charges from 0 to 1 to 2 faster. So it charges levels faster. So from 
zero, he'll immediately charge to the second charge uh, faster. The medium overdrive surge, which is his boot, the young yeet boot, remember guys? The young yeet boot, uh, that's gonna have it to where it has more hit stop when it hits early in the animation, so you can't punish him for doing it on hit. When they nerfed his boot in season two initially, they made it to where even if you did the boot up close, it would be uh, it would be negative on hit. Now it's gonna be plus on counter hit, and it will be safe on regular hit, I imagine. Uh, Narmaya, they made changes to her character as well. Free Flutter Stance, her close H, where she slams the sword down, its startup got reduced so that way it would match far 5 H, where she swings her sword a little bit further. Uh, so now she could do 2 M in the 5 H for a more reliable corner counter hit combo, because this will this will increase her damage output now, uh, which is good. Light and medium transient is her pink stance, the Genji stance, command dash. So the input windows is made longer, normalized with H transient. Uh, so it's just consistency changes to allow her to do her medium uh, slashes in the in the Kagura stance. It allows it so it actually connects in the combo now off of a hit confirm. Before, she wouldn't get that. Jita's the one that probably got uh, the most reward out of this patch. Her far L hitbox extends downward to make it easier to hit crouching opponents. So her far 5 L, she did this little like kick and it would literally whiff above opponents heads at further ranges. But now it'll always hit a crouching opponent, allowing her to do those hit confirms into her Rekka uh, easily. Her overdrive surge has faster startup, which is I believe her Rekka, the overdrive surge. And it has slight changes to movement, but there's no changes to its recovery. So a consistency change probably to match the far 5L. And then the H, uh, Ring and Lave, which is I think her fireball, had its recovery lowered to match the light and medium animations. And hit stop on the third uh, hit has been lowered to match the recovery of the Ring and Lave, just to stay in line with the projectile changes in the game. Uh, Jita also had her M and H Vorpal Blade. Uh, the window for the second hit has been delayed, so you can delay the second attack of it, basically. And the light Vorpal Blade has faster startup now. Now the biggest thing is Belial. Oh my god, they changed this character. Oh, oh, this is the Belial patch, baby. This is the UL Emergency Belial patch, bro. So Belial, uh, he got his auto combo affected so that way it moves forward later in the animation. Far 5H, oh my god, the hurt box. Oh, that move, Far 5H, he would, you just see fucking Bilal players just toss this move out like candy, my god. They would toss it out, it wouldn't matter, it, it had 10 frames of recovery, so good luck with punish it. Everybody was like, just whiff punish it, bro. I can't react to 10 frames, my guy. And then, yo, the second hit would always crush you if you attempted to try and whiff punish him for it. So then, it'd be like, yo, what's the point? So what they did they, was they extended the hurt box behind him, so that way he would actually get hit if you, like, jumped over him with a cross-up. The second hit had its attack priority lower, lowered its clash level, which means that it'll allow for mediums to whiff punish him. Also, his fireball, right? Everyone's a little crooked. It had a follow-up, right? The follow-up allowed him to basically, uh, ass to essentially, like, in down the opponent and keep them pressured and it had other uh, instances too so essentially the damage got reduced from 650 to 350 for the easy input the technical input had its damage reduced to 450 instead of 750 and then when following up with the ex version right the projectile disappears if Bilal is blocks or gets hit and there's more recovery on the light and medium versions as well also the other thing, his heavy version of the projectile, which is the one that most Bilal players use to engage pressure, they would do 5H, far 5H into the EX Fireball. What would happen is that they would lock you down and get immediate pressure afterwards. They let the pinwheel rock and then they would attack after. Now it has slower startup. So if they do far 5H into the Fireball, I would imagine you could attempt to roll or you could attempt to jump it even and avoid the mix-up entirely and punish him for it. So he's not gonna be able to just do that for free. The block stun, hit stun, and the, yeah, the block stun and hit stun on a grounded opponent got reduced. So he might not even get a big punish either for 
following up if the pinwheel hits. And then the air hit stun was left unchanged, so he could still convert if he anti-airs you with it. Now, his DP, which is the other thing too, his DP, when you would mash easy input DP or any, any input DP for that matter, right? His DP would knock you back literally nowhere. Like, you would be right next to him after he did DP, allowing him, if he was in corner, to side exchange and put you in the corner, or he would get Oki after his DP. So let's say, like, he did it, and you were block you were pressuring him, and then he did DP, my man got a whole ass Oki into a block string afterwards. So now, they made it to where they increased the knockback on easy input, so now, you guys return to neutral instead of him getting pressure or putting you in the corner. Same thing, like if you just did the regular version, the technical input, it will still knock the opponent further away. But he still shares the same knockdown advantage. And then they changed Kagliostro, right? More quality of life changes. Auto combos, they just made it to where it moves forward later in the animation. They did it just like Bilal, again, just to add consistency. But uh, Air Mehen no longer comes out when holding down to avoid accidental inputs from Air Spare Body. So this is just again, so like, if you did like the teleport in the air, then you won't get like a random trap coming out by accident. And then uh, her super skybound art, which is her level her level three super, her desperation super, has a wider window for the full animation to match the rest of the cast. So again, consistency uh, things. But ultimately, this patch was just meant to stop Belial not really to change the game much other than to kind of change Bilal to be a more balanced character. I still think Bilal is going to be fairly strong, so I don't think that there's going to be like... I don't think that Bilal players are going to really drop him off of this. I just think that now they're going to have to think a little bit more when they play. Um, and you can see that they left their intentions the adjustment intentions as soon as they release the patch notes too. You know, Bilal's one of the characters that's super strong in this current version. This time we reduced the part where his reward was mad large, but the risk is like minuscule. They literally wanted to adjust it so that way the risk for doing things, like you actually had a risk for throwing out a heavy normal or like throwing out a projectile or doing like DP. So I think Overall, they, they made some decent changes, and I'm hoping that this will allow for more players to get back in the game and play their characters and not get destroyed by the Belial army. <laughs> but that being said, I think people have to fear Lancelot more. I think Lancelot is going to be like, uh, you're going to see way more Lancelots at some point now. All them Belial mains, oh, Belial, you got nerfed, you got nerfed, so it's time to go to Lancelot. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Mark my words. So yeah. I just want to talk about the patch notes in brief. It wasn't a big patch note thing. Just want to make it very simple. And uh, yeah, I guess what we could do is we could also go over some of the changes that we could talk about here, and then also go over you all at the same time. Also, my my peeps on YouTube, I ain't forget about you. Y'all will see this video probably later up on uh, YouTube. But if you're watching on stream, then bro, there you go. Hey guys, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you liked the video, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you thought about- This This is such a cornball ass character they decided to fucking reveal. Pringles ass Frieza voice acting having character. And yeah, see you in the next video or the stream or whatever I do. Follow me. Peace.